Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to lecture 93. Uh, last time we have looked into the interplanetary transfer. So, this time we will lo look into a rendezvous, uh, rendezvous problem in that uh, it is a basically interception of two vehicles or uh, you, you want to dock two vehicles. So, first you have to bring them near to each other. So, what are the process uh, processes involved in that that we are going to discuss today. So, mathematical aspect basically we will look into. So, interception of uh, interception slash rendezvous of two vehicles in circular orbit. Okay. So, this is in circular orbit. So, let us say this is the circular orbit about the earth, it can be any planet, but let us assume this to be the earth. This is planet A and uh, we have another planet B here okay. and intend it is intended that A catches B at the point C and they may not be necessarily equally spaced they can be anywhere. Okay. So, I will make the figure that way only. Let us say uh, the point is here this is the point C. Okay. This point we write as O. So, this will be O B and this is O C. This angle is phi A B and this angle we write as phi B C. So, these are the angles to be covered and let us assume that ok. So, for sending catching B at point C by the satellite A this will involve sending the satellite A in faster orbit. So, A needs to be sent in a faster orbit. So, obviously, we cannot send it uh, in some orbit like this because this will take much more time to try go through this orbit. Okay. So, its time of travel will become even larger. So, one option to this is that we send it in a faster orbit and that orbit may look like something like this. Okay. And let us say that uh, this is the perigee point. Okay. This bisects A C into two parts. So, uh, this is your, I will show here, this is the transfer orbit and satellite A needs to be sent along this. So, that by the time B reaches to C, okay, A reaches from a to the C along the transfer trajectory. So, T A C along the transfer trajectory 
this should be equal to T B C along the circular trajectory. This is the requirement and once we fulfill this requirement our job is done. So, this point let us say this point is D. So, some hyperbolic orbit we plan or maybe this may be elliptical it depends on the situation, but uh, it will emerge as this uh, once you work out. So, at that time it will emerge which orbit is required. So, at uh, beforehand you cannot uh, decide it. So, we assume that the perigee is located here in this point and it is a symmetrically uh, a symmetrical point with respect to A and C. Okay. Now, the location of this from this point we assume this angle to be theta 0, this is theta 0, this angle is phi B C and this angle is this whole angle from here to here this is phi B C. So, we will have theta 0 this equal to phi A B plus phi B C divided by 2. Now, E B C the time taken in the circular orbit this will be equal to the time period in the circular orbit which we can write as t time period in the circular orbit and then it has to be proportionally divided into um, the corresponding by the corresponding angle. So, this will be phi B C divided by 2 pi. So, from this place we get t equal to 2 pi a q by mu and here this is circular orbit. So, this uh, r remains constant for this. So, we can write this uh, r cube divided by mu times phi b c divided by 2 pi. So, this gets reduced to phi b c times r cube divided by mu under root. and we have to match this time with this time in the transfer orbit this is required this is r cube. If this is matched means you have got the correct solution. Okay, so, uh, now we have to find out what that hyperbolic orbit or elliptic orbit will be in which I have to send the satellite uh, so that it catches B at C. So, the steps involved so find T B C in the circular orbit. This already we have done this is phi B C times R cube divided by mu, where R is the radius of the orbit. Assume eccentricity of the transfer orbit. For the assumed eccentricity, eccentricity is E For the assumed eccentricity E of 
what is required that we need to know the theta 0 find theta 0. Then finally, calculate uh, time involved T A to C in the transfer orbit T A C in the transfer orbit. So, these are the steps involved and equation that we need to use is the same as we have done earlier. So, we have r square theta dot equal to h this is the angular momentum equation and from there we have written d theta by d t. So, d theta by r square d theta divided by h this we can write as d t and this is the thing that we are looking for. Okay. So, this will be 2 times 0 to theta 0 this is the half way. Okay. So, uh, either from this place to this place or either from this place to this place. So, because this is the perigee, so the perigee we can measure the distance. So, twice of that the time taken will be. Okay. So, this is theta 0 and this is also theta 0. So, left hand side we write time 0 to or simply this side what we will do we will keep it 0 to t and this side we will write 2 to theta 0. So, this will give us T A C transfer time r square d theta by h 0 to theta 0 times 2 and this quantity already we have evaluated for uh, the ellipse for hyperbola and all, uh, all others. So, this is what we can write where r we are replacing by l by 1 plus e cos theta. and uh, h we have written in terms of mu times l under root. So, you get this equation and this two comes from the above. Okay. Once we have done this now we require the actual e equation. So, already we have all the equations. So, I will list here for the case ellipse. where e is less than 1. So, we have got the solution as T A C transfer will be equal to 2 times e minus e sin e divided by n, where n is nothing but mu by a cube under root and this is the mean angular velocity in this case it is a constant mean uh, sorry in this case we have uh, for the transfer ellipse this is not a uh, mean angular velocity remains constant if it is circular orbit so obviously the angular velocity itself is constant. So, n is equal to mean angular velocity. So, we are uh, using equation here n t minus tau equal to e minus e sin e. And e minus sin e, uh, this can be further written in terms of uh, e and sin e. So, let me list that also, so that uh, we refresh 
all these things. So, tan E by 2 this quantity we have 1 minus E by 1 plus E under root tan theta 0 divided by 2. This is the equation we have used and also the sin E equal to 1 minus E square under root times sin theta 0 divided by 1 plus E cos theta 0. So, these are the things that we have derived earlier, we need not work out uh, again and again. Okay. So, sin E is known from this place, E will be known from this place. And therefore, if we have assumed the value of E and then we calculate theta 0 and thereafter then we can work with this equation either if the case of ellipse similarly for parabola equation we have written. Okay. So, the T A C transfer time this will be 2 times it can be reduced to 2 times A Q by A to the power 3 by 2 divided by mu because the n is in here in denominator. Okay. So, the you can see that a q it will become a q by mu under root a, a q to the power 3 by 2 uh, divided by mu under root and this times uh, 2 tan inverse 2 times tan inverse this quantity we are using 1 minus e divided by 1 plus e under root tan theta 0 divided by 2 minus e times sin e. So, e times 1 minus e a square sin theta 0 divided by 1 plus e cos theta 0. So, this is the equation that we need to use and for this transfer orbit a will be given by plus minus r by 2 minus r v square divided by mu. So, for the ellipse we will have only the plus sign here, if it is hyperbola then this plus will get replaced with a minus sign. For the case of case of hyperbola, T A C transfer similarly this will be 2 D T or uh, we simply write here D T 0 to oh, okay. Okay, we can write like this just d t not to confuse anything and on the right hand side whatever we have written earlier that we need to do. So, 2 times 0 to theta 0 r square d theta divided by h as in the previous case and this gives us the equation we have already derived this while discussing the Kepler's equation. So, you can refer back to that portion. For the hyperbola we have the Kepler's equation m equal to f sin f uh, e sin f minus f this is what we have written. So, instead of capital E we have here capital F. Minus ln e plus 1 under root plus e minus 1 under root tan theta 0 divided by 2 
So, this is the integration from 0 to 2, then we get this expression. Where E equal to R divided by R B square divided by mu minus 2. And also the relationship we have derived earlier R V square divided divide R V square divided by mu this equal to 1 plus 2 E cos theta 0 plus E square divided by 1 plus E cos theta 0. So, this we have done while doing the orbit determination problem before that we did it. Okay. So, we derived all these quantities. So, these two are the standard equation that we need to work out. So, if E assumed is a correct value, then T A C transfer will be equal to T B C along the circular orbit. Otherwise, it will not be true. And uh, while working, we have to be careful that uh, this is the we have written this equation in terms of the true anomaly. The velocity vector is here, this is the orbit here, and tangent to this, the velocity vector is there in this direction. This is the phi angle, this is the radial direction. So, this way we are getting this equation. Okay, now, we go ahead with uh, completing all the steps. So, to conclude, following a steps should be carried out. For assume D and known theta 0. So, theta 0 is determined from this assume d known theta 0 calculate r v square by mu r v square by mu calculate a equal to r divided by r v square by mu this will be plus minus minus 2 or 2 minus r v square by mu once I have put here plus minus. So, accordingly you have to be careful while working with this. Okay. Then calculate then calculate T A C in the transfer orbit for ellipse or hyperbola or it may be even parabola, but parabola coming it is a very rare it may be either ellipse or either hyperbola most of the time because you have to go faster. So, hyperbola will be required automatically it will emerge. 
So, fourth compare, compare T A C, this is transfer orbit with T B C in the circular orbit. Repeat slash go to one if step four is not true. So, this implies that it is a only through iterative process you will get the solution, okay, not otherwise. And also, we can note that tan phi, which is the flight path angle, okay, this equation we have written as E sin theta divided by 1 plus E cos theta, we have derived earlier. So, this also you will require this for solving the problem. Okay, so, once we are done with this, so in this process, uh, what is important that uh, we have to assume E. And for the assumed E, we from there we can get uh, and known theta 0. Okay. So, theta 0 is already calculated. Let me check those steps what I have written here. Assume E for the assumed eccentricity. Okay, this is not required always. This step for the assumed eccentricity find theta 0 this step is not always required. In the circular case, this theta 0 is known, theta 0 is known because of symmetry. In the circular case, because we have for the circular case, if you look the orbit, we can always do like this and this becomes your this is point A and this is point C. Okay, so, uh, we can always divide like this, this is theta 0 and this is theta 0. So, theta 0 is known here in this case, because A and C, uh, the angle between this two, this is A to C angle is known to us. So, theta 0 is known here in this case, but in the elliptic, if you have the original orbit in which the satellites are moving, if it is elliptic, then in that case, you, you need to find theta 0. So, therefore, here in this case, it is a written here uh, for assumed E and known theta 0. Okay. It is not written that uh, we have to work out theta 0. So, for circular orbit you do not require to work out theta 0, but for elliptical orbit you need to work out theta 0. And once you know the theta 0, so R v square divided by mu this can be computed. Using this equation we have written earlier this e equation. So, we stop here and the next lecture uh, will start in which we do the uh, rendezvous problem in the uh, elliptical orbit and thereafter we will take the non coplanar orbits uh, this interception. Okay, thank you very much.